my name is Sammy. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I didn't upload last week. My job started to assign more work, which made it difficult to make new videos. So to anyone who was anticipating the video last week, I'm sorry. Also, I'm not gonna be making two videos a week anymore. I'm just gonna stick to one. I don't have the time anymore to just sit down and do two videos a week. So I'm just gonna stick to one for now. So with all that said, let's get into the video. So my experience at George Mason was interesting to say the least. So there's a lot of good things about going to a GMU, but there's also a lot of bad things that come with the experience. So I'm just gonna talk about the good and bad about GMU. So let's start off with the good. So one good thing is the food options. So if you already go to GMU, you're probably gonna look at me funny like, what? So the dining halls are subpar. Some days are good, some days are bad, and some days are truly disgusting. One time they thought it was a good idea to put apple pie in grilled cheese. Like who puts apple pie in grilled cheese? When I first picked it up, I thought it was a regular grilled cheese sandwich. But when I bite into it, I almost threw up. But how the campus makes up for the dining halls is all the other options you have. They have Chick-fil-A, Subway, Starbucks, Panda Express, and many more. And I think this makes up for the dining halls. So if the dining halls are serving something absolutely disgusting, you just go by the next building and use your bonus bucks to get something else. So the next point is diversity. People from all over the country and even the world goes to GMU. It's one of the most diverse campuses in the US. The next point is proximity to DC. So the campus is located right outside of DC. So you have plenty of access to like federal jobs and upcoming tech jobs. Since Amazon is coming into the area real soon, you can expect many more jobs to come up in the DC market when you graduate. Okay, so let's move on to the bad things about GNU. The first point I'm gonna talk about are credit changes and tuition freezes. So last year, they made a tuition freeze, which means the school kept the same tuition price as from last year. But they also changed how many credits you can take before you have to pay for extra. You used to be able to take 16 credits a semester without paying more, but now you can only take 15 credits per semester. Now how the credits are set up for each course, you eventually have to take a 16 credit semester, which means you have to pay more for that extra credit. This is a similar tactic that most schools do. They keep one price the same while changing other fees. So the next point is parties or the lack thereof. GMU is basically a commuter school, so not that many people stay on campus. As a downside, there are not that many parties on campus. There also is in a Greek world like other colleges have, so that hurts the situation even more. The only options you have for parties are doing something in your dorm room, paying $400 to join a fraternity or sorority, or paying a mission fee for the parties hosted by the organizations on campus. For me, as long as I'm with my friends, it doesn't matter what setting we're in. Like if I'm having small parties, but I'm also fine with going to like the parties hosted by the orgs. If you really strive for big parties, your best options are parties hosted by the orgs or join a fraternity or sorority. Other than that, I don't know what to tell you. But don't base your um, college decision primarily on parties. Next point is parking and good luck with that. I don't have a car so I didn't have to deal with all these problems, but from what I heard from my friends and other people at the campus, Parking is absolutely horrendous. If you want to park close to campus, you have to pay a permit, which can range from $200 to $300 or even more. I don't know the prices because I'm going to check that because I don't have a car. And spots tend to get filled up extremely quickly. So if you're a commuter, your best bet is to come in the morning, as from what I've heard, or you're going to end up having to take a hike to get to class. Also, the parking enforcement is extremely strict. You can leave your car in a completely empty lot and still get a ticket even though your car has been only sitting there for like a couple of minutes. The next point is Calico. So GMU is offering free testing, even though tests are free from other sources, but anyways. So they partnered with this company called Calico to provide the testing. What's strange about this company is that no one can find any information about this company prior from two months ago. There's a whole Reddit thread explaining this, so I'll link that down below if you want to take a closer look. There are a lot of things that are making people suspicious about this company. I feel like there are two possibilities with this company. So one, they're extremely ambitious and they're just having trouble getting deliveries on time, which I hope is the case. And the second one, it could be a scam, which I hope it isn't. But with all the information that Reddit Thread posted, a lot of people speculate that that's the case. So if you need testing, I highly suggest you go to your healthcare provider and get it from them. So the bottom line is that there are a lot of things that can make your experience very good. And there are also a lot of things that can make your experience very bad. 
but it's what you make of it. If you don't put any effort in your experience and just expect something good to happen, nine times out of 10, your experience won't be that good. So I highly suggest you get involved with some of the organizations and also make new friends. So that'll be it for this video. If you like what you watched, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned. Comment down below some video ideas you would like to see in the future. Also, follow my social media. That'll be linked down below. And with all that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.